elements of jazz. Your visual jazz experience. raised by two beautiful people. My mother and father uh, had a very loving relationship. And I have two brothers that are younger than me. I'm the oldest. And uh, we had a you know, beautiful like middle class life. It was, it was really good. A great childhood. My major influences when I was coming up were uh, Sarah Vaughn. She was my major influence. I also loved, uh, when I was a teenager, I started loving jazz funk music. So, Bruges and Shaka Khan was, was a band, that I, my go-to band, I would listen to them so much. And, uh, and and Shaka, as a singer, was just inspiring to me. I just loved to see her on TV, and I loved to watch and listen to her albums. And, and uh, she became my, one of my second biggest influence. Incredible and beautiful voice, Lisa right here. I'm gonna do for you now the song that I wrote about a man that I wanted real bad that I could not have. This man had me, I know, baby, in a mess. He had me fooled, talked some smack to me on the phone, you know, had the little suave thing going on. I didn't mean it. Then I found out he was married. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, but I found out in the nick of time, you see. And that's a good thing for him because I didn't have to go to jail. <laughs> well, my heart was broken a little bit. You know, I know it was only two weeks, but still, I was starting to like him. <laughs> you know, I've been looking for Prince Charming since I was 12. So I got a little glimpse of it. I thought it was happening finally. But that's okay. What I did is I went home, I wrote this song, they played it on the radio, I made some money, and I bought myself some diamonds. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a positive way to deal with heartbreak. Yeah. Anyway, this song is about how I started to feel about them. It's called Hypnotic Love. Well, the London scene is great musically, it's freer. When I joined Incognito, it was that time of the music industry where it was all about how you looked. It wasn't about the music. It wasn't about if you had talent. It was all about where you look like a supermodel. If you did, oh, you'd ever had to have a certain skin color or hair grade and all that kind of stuff to do it. And that's what that was mainly about at that time. Um, when I joined Incognito, of course, it was just a, a, a wonderful experience. Um, I auditioned over the phone and they called me a week later to come to England. I went there and, um, and it kind of was a culture shock in a sense that uh, the music was so free. That was the best part of the whole thing, the music. And, uh, and the people that they take our music, American music, they love, they adore, they worship this music, and they, and they play it. Like, for instance, the first time Bluey, the leader of the band, took me to a club, uh, they played Stevie Wonder's song, As. And it wasn't remixed, it wasn't changed in any way. It was that song, and they played it four times in a row. That's how many people on the dance floor. And it just, that's, that's all they wanted to hear. It didn't have to be altered. And I thought that was that showed me a lot because at home it was you had to have a remix you had to do this that was that was a big deal back then. Closer and closer.
My upcoming CD is called Uncharted Territory. And it's the first time uh, I've done a straight R&B record. But it has a little bit of a twist because it's more like, you would think of it as like a 70s album, but it's, I'm not doing any covers. It's all new music. But it's, it's the purity of the, the lyrics and the melodies would, would make you think of the 70s. Like, just because I, I just went for it. I didn't, I didn't try to do any kind of format. I didn't think about maybe what people would always would think. I just did it for me for the first time. And, and that's something that, um, so I'm not, I'm not a very selfish person, but that for, for this album, for me, because I just broken up with someone too, and I'm going through this transition, I'm about to turn 45. Like, all these different things I'm going through, it's like uncharted territory for me. So, uh, that's what the new album is about. I didn't do any scatting at all on this album. I mean, I did a little bit on one song maybe, but mostly this is the first album where I didn't use jazz as my crutch. I didn't, the scatting, I always, I always done it because it feels good to me, and I kind of lean back on that, but, but at this time, I'm not. It's, it's all straight on. I'm attracted to your energy, stronger than the force of gravity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 Uh, so I'd like to say that I love you all very much and thank you for 20 years of love and support and I hope to have a lot more coming up soon and, and my new album Uncharted Territory is on its way out very soon. I hope you all go get it. Thank you.